Hi everyone. This is a request a tag by Kaz Loves Makeup 86, I think is the correct name. I'll put it down here. I'm going to do this in a one take. Hopefully there's not a lot of mess ups because uh, I am leaving in two days to go on vacation and so I'm just really busy trying to get things done. I'm in the middle of doing laundry right now, so I don't have time to edit. But here we go. Uh, I just got home from work, so if I look jacked up, that's why. It's the end of the day. I changed my clothes, obviously, so I could wash my work clothes. And Anyway, so the nail polish obsession tag. Here we go. My laptop is right behind you, and that's where I'm looking. Number one, what's your favorite nail polish company? If we are going with... Uh, something available in the US. I'm definitely going to say Revlon Color Stay. I love this polish. You can get it at Walmart or Target for five bucks. Um, Walgreens has it for eight dollars, so I wouldn't go there. I'm sure like CVS, Rite Aid, whatever, they probably have it too. Um, amazing polish. I stand by it. If we're talking about things not available in the U.S., I am definitely going to pick Berry M. I have a couple Berry M polishes now from Makeup Swaps. I love them. I can't wait to get more. So the quality, amazing, the way it comes out. Uh, the first time I wore this one, a friend of mine thought it was gel nails just because it looked that nice. So if you can get your hands on some Berry M, I highly recommend it. Number two, glitter or no glitter? Glitter, yeah. I mean, um, I love glitter. Some of it's a bitch to get off, and some of it chips way too easily. Um, but there is some good glitter out there. I don't really know what to recommend, but just try it all. Um, the next one, OPI, China Glaze, or SE? I've never personally owned OPI or SE. And I just have this one itty bitty china glaze. That's a hair. Um, so I guess I'll say china glaze. There is some china glaze that um, at my work, we do the residence nails that work in a nursing home. There is some china glaze that like somebody brought in when we used it. It didn't, the way it dried, it didn't dry uh, very pretty. I'll put it like that. You know, it was much prettier in the bottle than when it was dry on the nail. So I get, I don't, I can't say I stand by China Glaze because I don't know because it's the only one I own. But I guess that's my answer. Next question: When do you change your nail polish? Roughly once a week. If it's not once a week, then it's a little more than once a week, or it's a little longer than once a week. Um, because. I typically work Saturdays, that's when we do the residents paint their nails, and so typically when I'm doing their nails, my nails get messed up, so because of that, I usually will do them Saturday night or Sunday. Um, if I haven't done them by Sunday, usually Monday. <laughs> uh, all depends on if I have the time to do it. Uh, if anything, it's always off by Saturday night. Um, because again, they usually get really messed up um, when I'm doing their nails. So usually it's at least off by Saturday night and they're usually redone by Monday unless I'm giving them more time to breathe. Next question. What's your favorite nail, favorite color on your nails? I don't know. I have one. There's not like one color I consistently go back to. Uh, it's just all about the mood, I guess. The season, time of year, what colors I tend to be wearing a lot at that time, like in my wardrobe. Um, if I have a roller derby bout coming up, they're probably going to be purple. So, yeah, I don't really go back to one color, but my husband's favorite color is red. So I can tell you that. I don't really put red on my nails that often, but I know he likes them. Next question. Darks or brights? Again, I'm, you know, I do both. I'm, I'm, I like the darks. Uh, I like the brights. I can tell you I typically stay away from natural.
neutral looking colors. <laughs> I don't usually go for any like neutral. Like in my nail polish junket video, I got rid of that light pink one that smelled like cotton candy when it dried. Um, just because it was too light, it was too not noticeable. <laughs> so that was my problem with it. It just it blended in too much with my skin tone. So yeah. Uh, next question, what are you wearing on your nails right now? This is the Brattle Snake. It is the Sally Hansen uh, Salon FX Nail Polish Strips. This is the pattern that the lucky winner of the giveaway will receive, um, the video response winner. Um, and I really, I, I, I really like this because because of the color, because of the pattern, it's nice, you know, it is different. And because of the overall color of it, when it does chip, it's uh, much less, much more or less noticeable. So even little chips, you're good, you know, it's okay. It's not noticeable unless somebody's like inspecting your nails. So, yeah. Uh, matte nails in or out? I guess out, like I'm not really drawn to matte nails. I mean, there's a rare occasion where I want something like that, but um, usually I like my nails to at least have some kind of gloss. So, does not, not necessarily a shimmer or, you know, a sparkle or anything, but still a gloss it makes it look nicer. Uh, French manicure, yes. Uh, if I, there's been like three times that I've had acrylics, which, uh, I gave them up because when they grow out, you gotta go back, you gotta get them filled in, um, if you take them off yourself, you really damage your nails, so when I had them and, uh, I, like, take them off myself, really damaged my nails, made them really weak, so I just stopped doing that, but it is a very nice look, I do like the look, it's very classy, um, it looks good on anybody, you know, acceptable in all situations. And it looks really good on the toes. When If I go and get a pedicure, I typically get a French manicure because uh, when it starts to chip on your toes, it's really not that noticeable from, you know, up here. So, <laughs> yes, I recommend it. And last question. Favorite winter color? I I believe I could be wrong, but I think I tend to gravitate towards uh, these kind of red colors in the winter because these are good in December because it's a nice Christmassy red color, and then again they're good in February for Valentine's Day. So I believe winter time, I tend to pick these more often. And if I'm not picking these, then I'm picking like, um, like a wintry blue kind of color. So like a darker, not darker, like a royal blue, I guess. A royal blue, a shimmer, I don't know. Sometimes a lighter, I don't know what I'm talking about. That's funny, my laptop went dim, so that's why the lighting changed. Um, so that is all the questions. And check out my nail polish collection video that I just did. Went through all my polishes. I picked out ones I was willing to part with, because sometimes you get to do that, ladies. And since we are talking about nail polish, and I have a nail polish problem, apparently, uh, I went to a, like a salon store where it's specifically for um, professional stylists, hair cutters, what is the right word? I don't know, cosmetologists? Yeah, so I have a friend who is the one that um, did my hair. This is, yeah, so this is what I had done to my hair. Um, I got highlights in, in case you can't recognize that. Uh, I went with her, so, because they charge, the reason why it's just for professionals is they charge them a lot less. So I went with her and picked out, um, like, two, like, heat protectant shine product kind of deals. And they had nail polish, and she told me that this nail polish is really amazing. So 
I got some. So this is a nice red glitter. This is the brand Venique. I don't know if you can see that on there. B-E-N-I-Q-U-E. So this one is called Heels of Dazzle. And then this one is called Ballerina Blues. So this is, I just thought it was really pretty and I, I actually thought about it and I was like, I don't have this blue in my collection. So that's why I picked this one out. So let me see, you can see the name a little better there. The Neek. Um, so I, I don't know where you can purchase this other than salon stores for professionals. There might be salons out there that have it for sale. There probably are um, nail salons that have it available for you know you to get your nails done. Um, but I can't wait to try this out. So this will probably probably this one will be the next color I use. Yes. All right, I'm gonna end it here because I have laundry that I need to switch over into the dryer. So thank you for watching. Uh, my giveaway is still going on. So check that out. And uh, I love you all. Bye.